Okay, we're continuing with module one. So we'll call this module one, part two. We've already talked about measuring angles in degrees and radians. Let me go back and talk about another aspect of measuring angles in degrees. Say, for instance, you have a 40 degree angle, and then maybe also, maybe you have a 41 degree angle, and then maybe you're trying to measure something very precise. Maybe you're in some kind of laboratory or some kind of special machine that has to be very precise, and for some reason you need to measure the angle and it actually falls in between 40 and 41 degrees. Say for instance like 40.7 degrees. Well we can do this. We can write an angle as a decimal. And it's just like a normal decimal number. 40.7 degrees means it's between 40 and 41 degrees, right? 40.7. So sometimes you will see angles written as a decimal. So we say that's writing it as a decimal. However, there's another way to write very precise angles. And instead of decimals, you can write angles in degrees, which we understand, but if you break degrees into really small, you break it up into minutes, and if you break it up further, it's into seconds. It's almost like, you know, you think about minutes and seconds like time, but actually minutes and seconds can also talk about measuring angles. So what does this mean? Well, what it is, You take an angle, a one degree angle, and break it up into 60 equal parts. Each part equals one minute. Let's go and think about time to help us out. What do we have to do with an hour? We say an hour, we break it up into six equal parts, and we say one hour equals 60 minutes. Well, you know what? One degree also equals 60 minutes. I mean, one degree is a very, very small angle. So we're taking a one degree angle and chopping it up into 60 equal parts and then that really, really, really tiny angle, a one minute angle is like one sixtieth of one degree. That's really small. But that's what it is. But we go beyond that. Now they say take one, well, first of all, and let me do this. In the world of degrees, we don't write minutes. What we say in the world of angles, we have this symbol, this slash. That means minutes. We don't write minutes. We write a little slash. So it's called one degree equals 60 minutes. But now we take one minute, that really small angle, and they break it up into 60 more equal angles. So we take one minute, I'll say a one minute angle, and break it up into 60 parts. Each part equals one second. So with time, 
if one hour is 60 minutes, then, then one minute is 60 seconds. Well, in the world of angles, a one minute angle is also 60 seconds. But in the angles world, we don't use the word seconds. We use a double slash. So if you can think about it, here's a summary. One angle equals 60 minutes. So you take an angle, a one degree angle. It's a very small angle. And you break it up into 60 equal parts. And each of those little parts is called a minute. A minute is a very, very small angle. But beyond that, you take one of those very small angles, a minute angle, a one minute angle, and you break it up into 60 more parts. So each second, you have an angle that's one sec that measures one second, and it's 1 60th of a minute, which is 1 60. You know what? You know what? Just to say how crazy this is, you know what? One. A one minute angle is, I think it's one, one over 3,600 degrees, right? I mean, super, super small. You can't even see it with your eye. It's so small. But what they're going to do now is, instead of writing 40.7 degrees, this is a decimal, they want to say, Please write 40.7 degrees as a number, but we want it to be in degrees and in minutes and in seconds. It's just like in time, if we were to say, sometimes you could, someone could say 32.5 hours. But if what if someone says, no, please write this time in minutes and seconds, you would say 32 hours, 0.5 hours is 30 minutes. 32 and a half hours is 32 hours and 30 minutes. You can see the, the 0.5 hours translates into 30 minutes. Well, here, we want to write 40.7 40, 40 degrees and convert it to degrees, minutes, seconds. The 40 is going to be my degrees. The 0.7 is going to now be converted into minutes and seconds. It's the decimal part of the number we're going to have to somehow convert it into minutes and seconds. Just like here, the decimal part of this time, we convert it into minutes here. I've got to convert the decimal part of this degree into minutes and seconds. So how do I do that? Well, it's just a matter of what we call unit conversion, which hopefully we've done in math before. So let me just, let's just run a new page, start again. So 40... 0.7 degrees equals what in degrees and minutes and seconds. First of all, you take the whole number part. That's going to be the degrees. So I can right away say 40 degrees. Now the 0.7 degrees, that's going to get converted into minutes and seconds. So what would 0 0.7, 0 0.7 degrees be in minutes and seconds? What I do first, so I take my decimal part, 0.7 degrees. I'm going to basically convert degrees into minutes. How do we do conversions in math? We call these unit conversions. I'm going to multiply 0.7 degrees by a fraction. And here's how I make up my fraction. I go to the denominator of my fraction. I'm going to first start with the units. What are the units of the number I'm starting with? The units are here are degree. Whatever the units I begin with, those are the units that go in the bottom of my fraction. 
what do I put in the top of the fraction for units? The units I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get from degrees to minutes. So in the top, I put my symbol for minutes. As a matter of fact, yeah, okay, I did that. And now I say, based upon units, what's the relationship between minutes and degrees? Well, I know there are 60 minutes and one degree. And now, just like numbers cancel, units can cancel, five degrees on the top and degrees on the bottom. The only unit I'm left with are minutes. And then the numbers, 0.7 times 60 divided by one actually 42. So I've now discovered that 0.7 degrees is the same thing as 42 minutes. So I now can say 40.7 degrees is 40 degrees and 42 minutes. I actually don't have to put any seconds here because this is a whole number. I'm done. If this had been a decimal, I would have then had to convert the decimal into seconds. And we're going to do a problem in a minute where we're going to do that. So what I've done is I've converted the decimal number, 40.7 degrees, into degrees, minutes, seconds. 40 degrees, 42 minutes. Let's do one more example. <clears throat> How about this? 21.256 degrees equals how many degrees, minutes, seconds. So right away, first step is I get the whole part, right? The number to the left of the decimal, that's going to be my degrees. So I know it's going to be 21 degrees. Then I take the decimal part of the degrees, <clears throat> 0 0.256 degrees. Now I'm going to convert that to degrees into minutes. I start with degrees, degrees on the bottom, remember do my units first, since I want to get to minutes. So you notice up here I use the words, but when I begin to do math, instead of writing minutes, I use the slash, but that of course means minutes. <clears throat> I know there are 60 minutes and one degree. Now this is where you're going to need your calculator because I got to multiply 0 0.256 times 60. 0 0.256 times 60. Equals 15.36. So what I'm saying is 0 0.256 degrees equals 15.36 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now grab the whole number part and that becomes by number of minutes in my answer. And now I take the decimal part to 0.36 minutes. And I'm going to now convert that into seconds. So I do the same thing over again. I initially took the decimal part of my degrees and converted it to minutes. Now I take the decimal part of my minutes and I'm going to convert it to seconds. So I start with minutes for my units. Minutes go on the bottom. I'm trying to get to seconds. Seconds go on the top. What's the relationship between minutes and seconds? There are 60 seconds and one minute. So now the units cancel out. I'm left with seconds here. Now I have to take 0.36 times 60. And I get... 21.6 seconds. So what I do is now I grab the whole number part and that becomes my seconds. So this number isn't absolutely precise because I still have a little bit left here, but this is close enough. So basically, oh, you know what I should do actually? I realized since it's 21.6, I'm going to take the 21. I should actually round. So if this next number here is bigger than it's five or above, I should call this 22. Since I'm having to estimate, I should round off this number here. 
So I think the actual precise answer, like in your homework, it would expect you to write 21 degrees, 15 minutes, 22 seconds. So 21.256 degrees, this is an angle, a decimal degrees, equals 21 degrees, 15 minutes, 22 seconds. Now let's take one more problem where we go the other way. How about we're given an angle in degrees, minutes, and seconds, and they want to know what this is as a decimal in degrees. What we do is you sort of do the opposite. Because what I know is, I know my answer is going to be 50 point something. Because I got 50 degrees, so I know I got 50 degrees here. This 6 minutes and 21 degrees is going to end up being some kind of a decimal number here. I just have to figure out what it is. And what you do in this case is you first start with the number of seconds. I'm going to take 21 seconds and I'm going to convert seconds into minutes. So I start with seconds, seconds on the bottom, minutes on the top. What's the relationship? There are 60 seconds in one minute. So I grab my calculator. This in a sense is right 21 divided by 60 equals 0 0.35, of course my units are going to be minutes. So what I'm saying is 21 seconds equals 0 0.35 minutes. So you know what I do? I go back up here, since this equals 0.35 minutes, I know this whole part the 50 degrees is set. I know this whole part is now 6.35 minutes. Right? I've got 6 minutes here. I know 21 degrees is 0.35 minutes. So 6 minutes, 21 seconds is really the same as 6.35 minutes. And now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this 6.35 minutes and I'm going to convert it into degrees. So I start with minutes, minutes on the bottom, degrees on the top. What's the relationship between degrees and minutes? 60 minutes and one degree. So if I do the math here, it's gonna be 6.35 divided by 60. The unit's gonna be degrees and it's gonna be point one zero five eight. We'll just do four places. So six point three five degrees equals point one zero five eight minutes. So now I've converted six minutes twenty one seconds into degrees and it's one zero five eight. So 50 degrees, 6 seconds, 20, 50 degrees, 6 minutes, 21 seconds equals 50.1058 degrees as a decimal. All right, so that's how you go back and forth between decimal degrees and degrees, minutes, seconds. All right, let me stop now, and I think we'll have one more video, and we'll be finished with module one.